only played 29 minutes. And you would have to understand that with the back to back, I know it doesn't start until Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's in Detroit. You don't know if Kyrie is going to be back with the team. Steve Nash did say pregame that he was hoping to have Kyrie back, but his finger was swollen. We're not going to know uh, until that game happens yeah. if he's back. But Kevin Durant is out until next Friday, so why not give Harden that extra time, Frank? Well, that's what Steve Nash had to decide. At 545 to go in the fourth quarter, they're down 15. Again, Doc Rivers decided to put Embiid back in the game. Ben Simmons was in the game. Steve Nash could have said, you know what, I'll take one more run at it. But I think at that point he decided that's it. He's played a lot of minutes. Uh, hopefully someone will ask Steve Nash about that after the game. Think about this, though. Harden in the first half, when he didn't play that first seven minutes of the second quarter, the Nets actually outscored Philadelphia 16-14. Him sitting in the fourth quarter, the score was 22-22. So they actually outscored Philadelphia by two when Harden wasn't in the game. And now Philadelphia, over the last two seasons up until this point, they are 40 and four, as you see right there at home. There's four teams that walked out of Philly the past two seasons with wins. Denver, Portland, Miami, and Dallas. They have that 17 and seven record, which is the best in the Eastern Conference, and seven players, Frank, in double digits for yeah, Philly. Yeah, and Ben Simmons, as we know, is outstanding. He can get to the basket, takes a couple of dribbles, and he's from the three-point line, right Right at the rim and this is the issue the Nets will have if they meet up with Philadelphia in the playoffs which is possible Philadelphia right now is the best record a lot of people still think that the Nets are the best team Embiid is an absolute load the Nets have to figure out a way to guard him now Philadelphia still hasn't played against Kevin Durant and right. Kyrie Irving so if the Nets get all those three guys together and they're playing Philly that's a different story but Embiid, Joel Embiid will be a problem for the Brooklyn Nets.